Hello, my cupcakes. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute fruit pudding made from needle felting. It's actually a very easy piece to make. It just has a lot of pieces, so it takes a little more time than my regular felting tutorials. I think this character just looks so cute and so delicious, so let's get started. To create the pudding, you're going to need some brown felting wool, which you can get at your local craft store, and roll this into a nice little pancake. For those of you guys who are new to needle felting, all you have to do is get a sponge and a felting needle and just poke this needle through the felting wool and the wool will cross-link and form a nice firm object into the shape that you desire. With time, your craft piece is going to become smaller and stiffer. You just have to make sure you don't poke your fingers with the felting needle because it will hurt. As you guys can see, I'm just making a really flat pancake to be the top part of the pudding. To make the bottom part of the pudding, I'm going to do the exact same thing but with a lighter colored wool and this is what the two look like. To hold the two pieces together, all you need is a felting needle and just poke through the two layers and they will cross-link and hold together. So the pudding part is already done. To move on to the top parts, which has a lot of segments, is going to take more time to create. We're going to take some white wool to form a little tuft of frosting on the very top. You can roll this between your hands to form a nice little ball, but you're still going to need your felting needle to hold everything together. The nice thing about needle felting is it has a lot of room for details. As you can see here, I'm forming a nice little circle dent down the center. This whipped cream design is something I see as a hallmark in some of the oriental desserts that I see. I just think it's a lot cuter than the typical frosting shapes that you normally see on cakes and things. For the blueberries, all you're doing is taking some blue felting wool, rolling it into a nice little small ball, and holding everything together with your felting needle. You're going to make a few of these. I made three. And to make your kiwi, you're going to take some lime green wool and you're going to roll this into a nice little pancake and felt this into a nice flat pancake. Some of you guys have asked me whether or not a regular sewing needle can substitute as a felting needle and it actually does not work as well. The felting needle has little small dents along the side so that when you poke it through the wool it can form cross links throughout the length of the needle. The more cross links you form the better your piece holds together. As you can see, I slowly shaped my kiwi into a section of a circle, almost looks like a slice of cake or a pie. And I'm taking some white felting wool and placing it down the bottom portion of my kiwi. Since this fruit has a lot of striations, I'm just taking smaller pieces of white felting wool and forming small little parallel lines along the piece of fruit. And don't forget to stick on some black seeds between the white and green portion so it looks more like a realistic kiwi. With a darker colored green wool, you're going to roll and spin this into a nice little leaf shape. I'm using my felting needle to flatten it and to form finer details of my leaf. This leaf is just going to be an accent leaf that you see on some of the decorative cakes that you might buy. But the key here is to take a lot of time to shape this leaf into the shape that you want. As you can see, I'm taking my felting needle and gently spacing little dents apart so the leaf has nice little rivets all along the side. For the straw cookie, you're just taking some dark brown felting wool, roll this into a long cylinder, and felt this into it's really nice and thick. With a beige or tan colored felting wool, you're going to swirl a nice color all around this straw stick. As you can see, it's not very perfect right now, but with some time and effort, you can actually space this wool evenly along the stick. The final piece I'm missing is the strawberry. All you need is some red felting wool, and you're just going to felt this into a shape of a half strawberry, which in my opinion is pretty much an organic shaped triangle. If you guys notice, all these pieces are very easy to make. Again, it's just a little more time consuming to make a more complex character. Once you're content with the shape of your strawberry, take some light pink wool and you're going to place this down the center of the strawberry and it's going to be kind of how when you slice strawberries in half you see this nice little design down the center. This is what it's going to mimic. When you place a colored wool on top of another already shaped wool, you just want to be sure you don't needle felt this down too much, otherwise you'll change the original shape of the piece you had. 
As you can see here, I've already placed a white wool center and I'm taking smaller pieces of white wool and I'm forming little striations coming out from the center so it looks like a realistic strawberry. I made two of these and here's the fun part. You just put everything onto your fruit cup the way you want it to be. Before I needle felted all of my pieces down, I positioned them on the top so I kind of get a general feel of where everything was going to go. As you can see, I placed the frosting on the corner. I placed three blueberries on the side. And once you added your decorative leaf, your kiwi, and your straw cookie, your fruit pudding is pretty much all done. Of course, you guys are more than welcome to add or take away as many fruits as you want. And if you don't want your character to have a face, that's completely fine. I decided that adding a face would make it really, really cute and make it more kawaii. But you don't have to if you don't want to. And I gave it the very standard face that all of my characters really have. And there you guys have it. This is how I made my adorable little fruit pudding character. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. For more like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my username is FlyingMeo, and you can share with me your creations there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!